In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a beginner's power supply by which you can precisely control the voltage from 1.4 volts to 24 volts. The second most important thing this supply can feature is the current limiting, meaning that if you act crazy and done something wrong in the circuit or mess up with the polarity, then most things won't surprise you with their magic smoke because now you can limit the current going into the circuit. So gather all the materials and let's get building. The module you will need to control the voltage and current is this DC to DC step up and step down converter meaning that it can supply more or less than input voltage which is controlled by this potentiometer. The potentiometer on the left side is used to control the current to whatever value you want. The potentiometer in the middle one is not usable because it is just used to adjust the battery charging indication. Now let's remove the both 10 kilo ohm potentiometer from the module. I just heat up the pins and pull it out on the other side. Now attach three loose wires to a new potentiometer of the same value. Don't forget to use shrinking tube to protect the connections. Then connect the other side of the three wires back to the module. For the power of the module, I went with this 12 volt 2 amp adapter because this module can only handle 20 watts which is enough for beginners to power prototype circuits. Additionally, you will need a voltage and current meter, two binding posts and two knobs for the potentiometer and an enclosure. My one is just made of metal, so nothing special about this. Afterwards, I attach all those components in their pre-made holes. Now let's get to the wiring of module. The output of the power supply will directly connect to the input pins of the module and the meter. Now the yellow wire which is the voltage sense wire will connect to the positive output of the module. On the negative output connect the black wire of the current meter. Now these two wires whose red wire from the current meter is actually the negative output which will directly connect to the binding post. Now, after connecting the main power wires to the adapter and closing up the top cover, our power supply is complete. But how you can power your circuits with this power supply without any props? So to make one, you will need two banana plugs and two alligator clips. Solder the red connectors to the red wire and black connectors to the black wire. And there you have it, now you can safely test all your circuits with this power supply. Super easy, just two couple of connections and you will make yourself a lab bench power supply. If you like this video then don't forget to click the like button. Also subscribe to my channel. If you have any suggestions regarding any project or a circuit then please let me know in the comment section. Once again don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay safe and I'll see you around.